How's it going YouTube? This is Skull and welcome to this month's Retro Game Treasure unboxing video. So if you're new to the channel or if you are uh, unfamiliar with what this is, this is a sort of grab bag box. Uh, it's a subscription box, sort of like how Loot Box or Loot Crate used to do it. So um, full disclosure, they did send this to me for free, but the way this service works is you subscribe to it monthly, or you can do multiple months, and the more months you subscribe, the more money you save. And inside, every single month, they send you a random assortment of video games. And these are all retro video games. Atari 2600, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. You can, you can uh, go to their website and fill out which systems you want to get games for, and, to make it even better, you can upload to their website what games you currently have for those systems to uh, make it far less likely that you accidentally get a duplicate game of what you already have. Uh, I've only ever gotten one duplicate from them, and they immediately reached out to me, apologized, said that they had worked on their algorithm to make sure it would not happen again. So, yeah, if you love retro games just as much as I do, if you're collecting retro games like I am, then this is probably the thing for you. Um, now, just to make it clear, you really aren't saving money. I have gotten some pretty amazing things out of this. I think the be the biggest thing I've ever gotten is like a boxed Star Fox game for the Super Nintendo, which was pretty awesome. But for the most part, you can expect to spend, I think, around 35 bucks and get about 35 bucks worth of games in here. You're not saving money, but you're not losing money. And if you're just collecting for older systems and you don't really care what kind of games you get, um, then this is for you. And actually on their website, you can actually fill out what kind of games you want to get. So adventure games, RPGs, if you want sports games, then fill out sports games. If you don't want sports games, then just leave that box unchecked and they'll make sure not to send you any sports games. Or if they do, it'll be something like NBA Jam or something like that, uh, which I got last month. So before I open this up, I just want to say... Uh, beginning this month, I've actually added one more system to the list of, of uh, games that I want. So in the past, I've had Nintendo NES, Super Nintendo, and N64, and usually they send me between three and four games. Uh, I think it's between three and five that they send, and I've gotten four every time except for one when I got three. This month, I've added one more, the original Game Boy. I don't know why, it's just grown on me recently. I just love the original Game Boy. I uh, I grew up on it. Uh, I didn't play that many games. I mostly used my Game Boy as a Pokemon machine, as most 90 kids did. But I want to start growing my uh, Game Boy collection. Uh, if you check this out right here, it's barely in frame. I have a, a shelf now for my Game Boy and DS, 3DS games. So anyway, we're going to see if I got a Game Boy game this month. And as always, I'm going to try my hardest not to look down. I'm just going to look at the camera, get rid of this uh, packing bubbles. So let's start from the top and work our way down. Our top game is an NES game, Spy Hunter. This is cool. Uh, I love the art. Um, I don't know anything about this, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm not that familiar with the NES library. It looks cool. I'd like to say I've heard of this before. Who made this? Um, it doesn't say who made Oh, Sunsoft made it. I really don't know anything about it. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not, but it's one more game for me to add to my NES collection, which is growing pretty quickly these days. I'm super happy with that. I would eventually love to get a complete, well, I mean, eventually I'd like to get every single system complete. Uh, the NES is one of those that is going to be difficult because there's so many games that are stupidly expensive, like plenty of games that are more expensive than they should be, but that's just because of all the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s kids who are going after a complete NES set these days, and there's just not that many games to go around. But hey, Spy Hunter, one less game for me to worry about. Uh, this next game is another NES game, Skate or Die, with tons and tons of tape on it. Um, I'd like to say this is Blockbuster tape. Um, no? Um, Mina Video Incorporated. I don't know what that means, but this is Skate or Die. Um, I don't know much about it, but skateboarding was the rage in the 80s. The rage. It was the biggest thing. I cannot tell you how big of a deal it was. It's like, oh um, man, I, I can't even think of an equivalent right now, but, um, superhero movies. Superhero movies, skateboarding equivalent. So, Skate or Die, NES game. Um, next up is an N64 game. Pokemon Snap! Wow! 
Okay, this is one I was missing. Um, I'm going for every single Pokemon game complete in box. This is not obviously complete in box, but it is the game. I'll be honest, I never actually played Pokemon Snap, or if I did, it was so long ago I don't remember, but this is a cult classic. Pokemon fans everywhere love this, so super glad to get this, and this is an amazing shape, too. That label looks beautiful. Uh, it looks like, it looks like whoever had this before me took very good care of it. So, it looks like, um, uh, for, for this box, uh, I, uh, added the Game Boy as my preference a little too late, unless it's here under the Super NES game and it's not. So, maybe I'll get a Game Boy game next month. Uh, I did add the preference just a week ago or so, maybe a week and a half, so maybe they made this box and then shipped it out. Um, before that happened. But anyway, last up is a Super Nintendo game, Sim City. Wow, we got some nice stuff today. I actually, I at least recognize three of these games by name, and maybe Spy Hunter as well. I'm actually familiar with two of them to a great extent. Sim City, if this is the one I'm thinking it is, this was a launch title for the Super Nintendo. Um, it's uh, considered one of the better SimCity um, games out there, and it is Nintendo-fied, so like Mario's in here, and, and all that charm that you would expect from a Nintendo game. Um, I'd like to say it was a launch title, I'm almost positive it was. Um, so yeah, I mean, <laughs> SimCity. I actually have wanted to play this for a while, so I'm glad that I finally got the option to. So, yeah, um, man, it's hard to choose what my favorite game was this month. SimCity is high up there, Pokemon Snap is high up there, I just love Pokemon games. Skate or Die is, you know, I at least recognize the name. Spy Hunter, I, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'd like to say I recognize the name, but maybe I don't. It, it's, like, so generic, so, um, you know, everything from before I was born just sort of lumps together after a while, but that does it for my retro game box unboxing. So if you guys liked what you saw, then go ahead and um, subscribe to the Retro Game Treasure. Uh, link is in the description, as well as a discount code that you can use to get a nice little discount when you order. So let me know what you thought my best game was that I got out of this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next month with my next box. Hi everyone, this is Skull. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. I also want to give a huge thanks to my Patreon pledgers for this month, whose names you can see on screen, along with some other videos of mine I think you might enjoy watching. That does it for now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.